Last Mod NBA 2K Episode 2. Let's jump right back into it. So first video, we talked about the types of mods that we're going to be looking at or the types of mods that you may see in NBA 2K. This video, I want to focus on the file structure of NBA 2K when you install it and then how the mod plugin works in relation to the file structure. So last video, I kind of talked about the manifest. Um, quick refresher if you don't remember what I said about the manifest last time is that the manifest is just a log or a file list of all the files that come with NBA 2K. So when your NBA 2K loads, it looks at this manifest file and then it loads up the corresponding files that are found in this manifest. Um, that's how it works. So if your NBA 2K is loading and it's looking for a file that's in this manifest that it can't find, your 2K will either crash or probably won't even load at all. So it's good to just understand how that works in relation to the file structure. To go a little bit deeper into that, now your manifest is also going to be found in your NBA 2K directory. Again, if you don't know how to get there quickly, if you have an NBA 2K directory, I mean NBA 2K EXE shortcut on your desktop, if you right click on it, go to open file location. This is going to be your NBA 2K directory. Inside of this directory is that manifest file. By default, it doesn't have any program that it opens with, but you can open this with Notepad++, which we'll talk about next video when I talk about tools. You can open up with Word, you can open up with Notepad. A bunch of text, you can open up pretty much any text editor. Um, if people may not have Notepad++, so all what I'll do is I'll open it with um, just regular Notepad for the time being. So if you, if you right click on it, go to open with, go to Notepad, open it up. Now, since it's loading in Notepad, it may take a moment for it to load up. Um, you may even see it see it go not responding. Just give it a moment. It's a lot of text in this document um, that it's actually trying to load. So while we're waiting on that to load, we'll talk about the NBA 2K directory a little bit. So when your game is installed, now this is from someone that's installing it from Steam. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be working from the Steam version. Um, if you have it any other way, can't really comment on how it installs. I'm pretty sure it does it the same way, but you're working from steam um, basically what happens is nba 2k um, installs these archives on your uh, computer so you'll see the archives because they'll have letters and numbers next to them so you have 3h 3i 3a uh, 3g 3f 3e down to twos 2q 2r 2s 2t 2u down to ones and even down to zero basically what the archives are is it is the it's basically the container for all the files that load that load up into the game so each archive has a number of files in it and depending on the number of files it will have a, an associated file size with that so for example zero the archive 0a is a hundred and what it says 16 megabytes uh, zero B is only one kilobyte zero C is 14 gigabytes so as you can look you will notice that these files some are big some are small but these are the archives that hold the files in place that 2k loads up when you start your game it's just good to understand this because when we start to actually mod and change files this is where we're going to be getting the original files from we're going to pull these out of these archives edit them put them into our modded folder and then the plugin will load everything from the modded folder that's how it's going to work let's see if our uh Okay, our manifest loaded up. So on a manifest, again, you'll have your files on the right hand side. Um, and then on the left hand side, you'll have what archive that file is in. So for example, at the top here, we got English.iff and 0a. I want to say that's for the English translation of the game, that or the English commentary. Um, so if we were to go into 0a, this is where that english.iff file is going to sit or reside. It's going to be in this directory here. It looks like it's not many files in this OA, uh, OA archive. It looks like it's primarily for the language. So English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Spanish. So these are all inside of the OA archive. Now to be able to open up these files and get them out of the archive this is where the nba 2k explorer comes into play i'm not going to talk about it this episode but i'll just briefly mention it 
it's what we're going to be using it's one of the tools that we can use to pull stuff out of these archives and that we can edit and have the game load back up um, but we'll talk about that next episode when we talk about tools but i just want you guys to understand <clears throat> when you start to mod and you're looking for files what you're going to be doing is looking at the manifest find out the, finding out the archive that it sits in using one of these programs that can open up an archive to pull the file out then when you edit the file you're going to put it into your modding folder and it will load based on the mod plugin um, just so we're not jumping the gun anymore let me quickly just talk about the mod plugin so as we just briefly discussed when 2k loads up it's going to look at this manifest it's going to load everything in the manifest based on these archives what somebody did was a modder he created a plugin um, excuse me a modder he created a plugin which basically tells 2k <laughs> My daughter is running around upstairs. Basically tells 2K that, yes, go ahead and load up everything from the archive. I also want you to look at this folder. We call it the modding folder, but it's called Wegua, which is here. Look at this Wegua folder and load up any files you see there first. So basically what it's doing is when 2K loads up, let's say I have an English IFF and an OA, which that's where that this file is is in the oa archive let's say i make my own english iff just just whatever that english thing does whatever it does let's say i have my own version of that file that i modified when i put that file into my way google folder when you load up nba 2k the mod plugin looks at the way google folder first and it says hey i have english over here i have english over here the mod plugin is basically going to say hey load up anything from Wegua and don't load up that same file from the archives that's how we're able to play with modded files in nba 2k so that's how the the 2k plugin works in relation to the directory in relation to the manifest it's good to just understand this because when you start to do your modding and you start you're running into issues the easiest way to be able to troubleshoot is to understand how all this stuff is working together. Um, one thing that I didn't mention, and we'll talk about this when we actually start modding, we'll set up the mod plugin, but the mod plugin is just a DLL file. It, it basically injects code into NBA 2K and tells that code. That code basically says, load up your manifest. Yes, you can load stuff from the manifest, but before you load anything from the manifest, I want you to look at this way Google folder and if it has that same file over here load that one first so that's how the 2k direct that's how the 2k mod plugin works that's how the file structure works in NBA 2k and then that's how we're going to use that in relation to the manifest to kind of find out where these files are when we start to pull them out and making our edits and stuff so I just want you guys to quickly understand that because uh, like I said it, it'll just help especially if we start running into issues you're troubleshooting you're like why isn't this working You'll know the, the the why as to what's doing what, and then you'll be able to figure out how you can fix it. So, uh, again, that's really all I wanted to cover in this episode. The next episode, we're gonna talk about some modding tools. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos fairly short, under 10 minutes if I can. So that's all we're gonna talk about here. Next video, we're gonna look at a couple different tools. We'll get them set up, we'll get them installed, and we'll maybe extract a file or two just to see how it works and see how we can edit and set up the mod plugin as well. So. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video if, it, if you need to, if it can help somebody, um, leave a comment, anything you want me to add, maybe some stuff I can add down the line, but that some stuff that may, that people may not understand, I can try to add that in the videos. But again, I'm going off a little of mini agenda that I made up and I'm just kind of trying to give it to you in spurts <laughs> to try to make sure it's not one big giant video with a bunch of information. So if I can fit it in little spurts here and there. It'll be a lot easier to understand. But um, again, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.